అందరికి నమస్కారం దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ క్యాప్టెన్ శ్రేయస్ యువర్ ఫిజిక్స్ మాస్టర్ టీచర్ ఆన్ ద వెదాంత జే ఇంగ్లీష్ ఛానల్ ఎలా ఉన్నావు నేను చాలా బాగుంది ఐ హోప్ యూ టు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ రియలీ గుడ్ ఫ్యాంటాస్టిక్ అండ్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ యూ ఫ్యాంటాస్టిక్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజెస్ ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ వెరీ ఓన్ ఆంధ్ర అండ్ తెలంగాణ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ యూ అబౌట్ ఐఐటి బికాస్ ఐఐటి ఎవ్రీబడి నోట్స్ but there are amazing private and some government colleges which every andhra and telangana student should be aware of every single detail like the campus size eligibility what is the average have highest package sir fees every detail i'll be giving you in this crisp video and you can make an informed decision and also very important for you to be motivated oh this college is there this is near me i want to score this much so that motivation also you'll get for your exam preparation so before going ahead make sure you are subscribing to the number one j english channel yes all academic content tips strategy counseling every single thing one short spy use discussions all are there on the channel just browse through it that's why you should subscribe and uh, like chandy that is your attendance bro so bega vegara everyone fast do it right away right now okay so let's do this guys starting off with the 10th college on your screen you have kakatiya institute of technology and science which is there in warangal started in 1980 private decent nrf rank nrf rank is okay okay you should understand because you should not take too seriously also at least one range you should know okay size campus not very big not small 45% pcm marks are required in boards ip exam whatever and you can uh, you know be uh, you can enter into the college via the telangana ipsat exam earlier it was called ems now it is ipsat okay so through that you can seek admission there are new and old branches old like civil mechanical electro electrical new branches like electronics or even computer science it you have ai and ml networks also is there so you can obviously try for that fees 1.25 not very high not very low average package 4 and 1/2 lakhs to 5 lakhs highest is going to 31 lakhs so this is not very good also but not very bad either because there is some number of students who are getting some packages like 20 30 lakhs also but not everyone is getting great so 4 to 5 lakhs is okay only in today's world cvr college of engineering by the way whatever packages i am telling that is still better than many of the random colleges because random colleges don't even give their placement data not all students get placed and sometimes the average packages are as bad as 1 to 2 lakhs so that's why this average package is very important so the cvr college is there in telangana again it started recently in 2000 it's private uh, decent nrf rank very small size campus but low uh, eligibility criteria in pcm boards exam 70% are reserved via the ipsat exam but 30% is reserved for je mains and your nri quota nri is 15% and je mains has to be taken seriously because lot of colleges allot and reserve some seats via je mains so sometimes even after ipsat you know many students don't get a particular college via je mains counseling many students even with 70 or 80 percentile get that same college so that is why please take je mains exam seriously okay if sat to you will be writing properly okay old branches like civil mechanical electrical are there new like computer science cyber security is trending ai and ml everybody knows is very popular now it is also there vlsi design and technology and electronics is also very interesting branch including communications and electrical and electronics and instrumentation engineering fees is little bit high 4 and 1/2 to 6 lakhs which is on the higher side average is good 5 lakhs highest package is 33 lakhs okay so this means mediocre students also even if i'm not performing that good still i will be somewhere around 4 to 6 lakhs range but if i do really good then i will be getting 25 lakhs 30 lakhs 33 lakhs also so you know the potential next is the college of engineering osmania university it's there in hyderabad very old government based so fees will be less ranking is good and big campus because that time land rates were very cheap no yeah now you need to score 45% in your boards as a eligibility ipsat exam you need to give so that you are eligible for counseling process 
old branches and new branches in the new branch ai ml is there biomedical engineering like robotic arm robotic surgery and you know medicinal sciences require a lot of nano robots and so many advances are happening where engineering and medicine is coming together so very new and trending field electronics is also there cse is also there fees is very low because it's government and package is 7 lakhs to 8 lakhs on an average highest is slightly better 45 lakhs so definitely a good college if you are in hyderabad then you have the jnt uk uh, college yes it's in basically Andhra, started recently, it's a government funded college, decent rank and decently sized campus, 110 acres. You need 50% of the marks eligibility and it's based on the IPSAT entrance exam of AP, Andhra Pradesh. Okay, new branches like computer science, AI, ML, cyber security, very important. BTEC in data science, IoT, IoT means internet of things like Alexa or smart bulbs, smart AC, smart TV those are iot that's a very new trending branch and also it is there automation robotics all good branches are there but i have given you the best ones more branches are there which i think our andhra and telangana students will not be interested in so i have put the popular ones anyways fee structure depends on the branch which is very cheap not that high you can see it's in thousands which is good average is also good eight lakhs that's good no yeah, it's more than 50,000 per month on an average and highest is going 67 lakhs. Wow, that's crazy. That's like 5 lakhs to 6 lakhs per month. Yeah, okay. Now the next one, you have the KLEFU. Yes, the college which is there in Hyderabad also and Vijayawada, both the branches are there. 1980, it was started. It's a private one. NRF ranking is good and decent size, 100 acres. 60% bare minimum eligibility is there. So slightly higher. That means college is good. Three modes. They have a separate entrance exam. Like many private colleges like VIT, SRM, they have a separate entrance exam. J mains and J advanced score also they are accepting. And IPSET exam also they are accepting. So it's a good way. You can try all the three different ways and see if you like it. Because new branches are there like AI, data science, biotech. Biotech does not have scope in India. But abroad it has scope. It's a decent branch. Civil, CSE, IT, electronics, IoT, mechanical, all the traditional and new branches are there. Fees are okay, slightly on the higher side only. 2 to 3 lakhs per year is good uh, fees. 8 lakhs average, highest package 75 lakhs. So good packages are given. Work. Next one, Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitam. Now this is very popular in South. Yeah, many of you, especially from Tamil Nadu, Kerala, will definitely know about it. And in Andhra also, it's popular now. Yeah, 1994 started recently. It's a deemed university. Seven, NRF. But like I said, NRF ranking, don't take the accurate number. Just see whether it is in top 50, top 100, top 200. That's the approximate range you should see. It's a good campus. And eligibility is 55% in every subject. Plus, you need to get total 60%. Okay. So, next is, how do you get admission? One is Amrita entrance examination. It's a separate entrance test like VID, Triple E, SRM, J, BITSAT. Same thing. Lot of students give it. And we will also help you with that on the channel. You can check our older videos. Plus, J means also is valid. So, J means 30% of the seats are reserved. 70% through their private entrance. New branches like computer science, artificial intelligence, electronics, communication, engineering is also there. And the fees depend on the scholarship. So, scholarship also, they have some criteria. What's your family income? What is your score? And all of that determines how much scholarship you get. And uh, you can get that refund, etc. And you can see the average package is good. 9 lakhs is good average package. Highest package, not the best, like 70 or 60 lakhs. 56, 57 is still good only. Okay. It's close enough to 5 lakhs per month. Okay. Next is your Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University. But this is there in Hyderabad old campus, government, good ranking, not so big, not so small campus size. 50% base criteria in 12th and you have to give IPSAT exam to secure admission in the college. New branches like AI, robotics, machine learning, computer science technology, business systems, design and cyber security which is very popular, IoT, data science, many more branches are there but the popular branches I have put over here. Well, for AIML, this is the fees. For other BTEC program, the fees are less. Popular branch, they want to also earn my nice money. Okay. So, average package, 9 lakhs. Highest package, 26 lakhs. So, this is a little bit turn off. That average package, that means even if you are a normal student, you will get good salary. 
but if you are a very very good student then you know this 26 lakhs is not much if you think about it because other colleges many kids got 50 lakhs 60 lakhs 70 lakhs also okay vit yes vit is also there in andhra the original vellore uh, institute of technology is there in tamil nadu this is the other campus all right it was established in 1984 it's a private college it is ranking good only and big size campus now eligibility is 60 percent okay in your board's exam admission mode is vit triple yeah separate private entrance test is there but in that also there are many uh, categories and many rounds of counseling you better seek admission maximum in the first or second round but the higher rounds of counseling as you go the fees become higher and all of that so it's also slightly costly college like you will see okay new age branches are there all kinds of engineering that you can think of will be offered in vit so that's one good thing they have variety of courses and the number of students in vit also are very high keep that in mind fees is two lakhs yeah hostel fees are also good by the way and average package is good that is why people choose vit because they have very nice collaborations with many industrialists and all of that lot of alumni also come back so average is good but highest is good not the best 44 lakhs is okay considering highest package it's not in 60 70s or 1 crore range this is good guys the average is means you know you're a normal student still you get 14 lakhs 15 lakhs 20 lakhs that's a good package next obviously nit how can we leave out nit man and nit oh, yes warangal old college government nrf ranking like i said you know sometimes nrf rankings are also messed up they put nit is behind some private colleges so that's why i said don't take the exact ranking just see the range area is good only yeah 75 percent criteria is needed so you need to do very good in your cbsc boards or your state board exams j means rank only and the counseling is separate you cannot get in via ipsam so that's why i'm again and again stressing on the fact please give j means seriously next new branches and old branches are also there and artificial intelligence data science vlsi design basic computer science core computer science metallurgy is also there mechanical electrical chemical all those branches are there so if you want nit tag specifically if you are going to go abroad then it matters even if you choose chemical engineering doesn't matter but if you want to do mba then choose some branch but nit matters nit tag has a value like iit tag but if you want to go in computer science, then you're not getting a seat, then you have to check other colleges. But yeah, NIT tag has a value. If uh, you are going abroad, doing MBA, MS, or even PhD, all that sorts. Having said that, fees is low because it's government. But average package, you can see it's good, 14 lakhs. And highest package is also good, 53 lakhs. Okay. Then you have the triple IT, yes, which is there in Hyderabad. NRF 47, 66 acres, not very big, but not very small private institute started in 1998 it's in hyderabad obviously 60% minimum base criteria you have to get admission via j means but there are other modes also like they have olympiad scores uh, also which can be considered and there is a separate entrance test called as ugwe which is very popular those videos also i have made on the channel you can see the mock tests, everything preparation we have done previously also. So UGWE is a separate entrance test. You can also go via J means. You can also go via board score. You can also go via Olympiad score. So many methods are there. Seats are very less. It's not like VIT where thousands of students are studying. This is like few hundreds. Yeah. So very small classroom sizes are there. CSE, EC and dual degree programs are also there these days. Four and a half lakh rupees you will need. Hostel mess charges will also be there. So, structure is little bit higher. And average package is 26 lakhs. Look at it. 26 lakhs. That means even if you just are normal student, no? like 20, 30 lakhs, so chumma I will get, man. Yeah. And highest package, 1 crore plus. So, this is something which you should be aware of. All right. So, all these were the top 10 colleges. Obviously, you have IIT. Hyderabad, which is on the number one position, but I have not put it over here. And the, if you feel that there should be some more colleges, please put it up in the comments so that if you want another detailed video, we can make one on that. So I hope you loved the video. And yes, I hope you have liked the video actually down there and subscribe to the Vedantuja English channel. 
थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ ग्रेट टाइम एंड सी यू अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय